Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video I'm going to show you a good way to clean your cell phone. Uh, and this applies to the iPhone or Windows Mobile or any mobile device that picks up a lot of dirt and fingerprints and grease and grime and pocket lint on the screen or the front of the device, um, which pretty much happens to all of us. So. If you've seen any of, the, any of my videos, you know that the devices that I have are generally very clean. It looks like it just came out of the box, and well, that's really not the case. It's just that I do a certain few things to keep the, dev the device clean before putting it on camera so that it looks uh, brand new. But what I have here is one of the hardest to clean devices, the Sony Ericsson Xperia X1, and I've been using it uh, for several days now without cleaning it, and look how dirty it is. It's disgusting. Um, but I'm going to show you how to clean it off so that it looks like it just came out of the box. Now there are a few things that you're going to need here. Um, you're going to need a 100% cotton uh, t-shirt or a towel or, or cloth or something uh, around the house. I like the, the flat material better than you know getting a bath, bathroom towel. That really wouldn't work. So something flat, 100% cotton like this. Um, you also want some uh, some compressed air with a little hose on the top of it. This is kind of optional. This is just to get some surface uh, debris out of the way. You, you don't need this, but it helps. You also want to have a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 90% or greater, or that's pretty much the highest that they sell, because the, the lower you go, they sell 70%. That has a lot of water in it, and we really don't want to have a lot of water next to our electronics. Uh, we also want some uh, Q-tips for the small spaces, and of course the device. So let me show you what I do. Uh, the first thing that I do is I blow off the surface dust and debris, and there is a little bit, so I try to get around the screen and around the buttons. Okay, the next thing I do is get a Q-tip and dip it slightly into the alcohol, but I don't want to get it too wet, uh, just kind of damp. And so I just dip it in, and I'm going to shake it out, because we don't want to have a lot of moisture here. And now I'm going to take the Q-tip and I'm going to rub it around the screen, and then I'm going to do the screen, and then I'm going to go back into the edges, at the corners of the screen, where a lot of pocket lint and dirt kind of accumulate. So let me do that now. Got a little smudge down here, so you can work a little harder on that. Although when we agitate it in a moment, we'll get more of that off. So I'm going to use my soft cotton uh, t-shirt or towel here to kind of polish it. So gentle circles and make sure this is completely clean, uh, freshly washed with no dust on it because it will scratch the screen. Um, okay, that's a little better. Still needs some more work. So I'm going to take another Q-tip and another end and really focus on the edges now because that's really where, especially on a recessed screen, the, the debris kind of hangs out. And when we're done, after a little bit more work, we get a device that looks like it just came out of the box with smooth surfaces, a nice shiny screen, and just the way we like it to look. So that is a good way to clean your screen. 